Hey guys, it's Paige and I'm back with another unboxing for you guys. So I'm actually not home. As you can see, I am in Chicago this weekend um, visiting a friend and celebrating our birthdays because obviously you guys know I have a twin sister and my friend's birthday is a few days after ours. Um, so yeah, we're just here for the weekend and I actually because I'm committed, so give this video a thumbs up. Um, brought this with me because I was gonna film this unboxing before I left and I ran out of time. Um, so I am going to open it now. Um, so we're gonna get straight into the video, but like always, before we get started, I do wanna thank, take the time to thank everybody who's watched my videos, who's liked, commented, and subscribed. If you like content like this, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and to subscribe. Okay, so here's the package. So we're just gonna get straight to it and open it. I ordered this from Nordstrom. It comes in the box like so. Um, and the item is from Saint Laurent. I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't. Okay, so this is what I end up purchasing. Um, as I mentioned, I got this from Nordstrom. It is a tan suede St. Laurent belt. It has this really, really cute, modest um, logo on it. And that's really why I got this belt. Um, because I've been really wanting to get just like regular everyday belts that weren't so hard to style. Um, I do have a Gucci Marmot belt that is a lot bigger than this. And I will say that this belt is a lot thinner than what it appears, at least on Nordstrom's um, website, um, which is which is fine. Um, I just, I, I'm not one of those people that hates Gucci Marmont like a lot of people do. Um, I do like it and I think there's a time and place for that, but um, I do think there's something about Gucci's Marmont logo that can be a little gaudy um, and it's just a little harder to style because it becomes the focal point of your um, outfit. Um, and for me, I think this won't and it'll be a lot easier for me to style i also just needed a brown belt so that's why i picked it up so i'm going to insert clips of um this belt with my outfit today um so you guys can see how it looks so this is the belt on me um i think it is so cute so you guys get like a better idea of like how prominent the logo is and how wide it is um these are like i guess they're like high i guess they're more probably more like mid-rise jeans um yeah so it's, it's definitely small it's smaller than what i anticipated based off of the pictures um but i actually prefer it that way um so I'm excited to get a lot of use out of this because I know that I will and that it will be a lot easier to style this belt um, compared to um, not just Gucci, but like a lot of other um, luxury belts. Um, I don't know. I think I'm, I think I just prefer belts either without a logo um, or a very small logo like this. Okay, so this is gonna be a really quick video. I just wanted to show you guys this. I wish that I had my other belt with me so I can like compare it. I don't have like a smaller Gucci, yes I do, that's not true. I do have a smaller red Gucci Marmont belt um, and I, even with the smaller width, I'll just insert a picture of that. Um, I do think this one is a little bit more conservative or a little bit more modest. I don't necessarily hate or love one over the other. Um, I just think there's a time and place for both. Um, and I just find a lot of like designer luxury belts difficult to style. Um, and I think this belt can be worn with any other designer or other logos or really almost anything that matches it um, without it, you know, with, I think it's very easy to 
What was I saying? You say it's hard to style. You don't really like that. So I don't, I don't really like one belt over the other if we're comparing this belt to the Gucci Marmite. I just think there's a time and place for both. This one is just going to be a lot easier to style. Um, and it's just more on the conservative and modest side, as I stated. Um, I think that this belt, you can get away with wearing almost any other designer or really wearing anything that matches. I find with the Gucci Marmont belts, even the thinner ones, um, like I said before, it becomes like a, the focal point of the outfit and it, it's very easy for it to look overdone. Um, I don't know. I just really have a hard time styling belts, if I'm being honest, and I don't find myself wearing them a lot um, just because... To me, they can be a lot um, when there's like a really big logo on it. So anyway, I'm happy to have this because I think it's like the perfect medium between no logo and um, a logo. So I definitely would be interested in getting this belt in a larger size. Um, this retails for $375. I don't know if I mentioned that. I always recommend getting these like at a department store where they have like a loyalty or some type of pro, pro uh, point program. Um, because I actually use like Nordstrom Notes to pay a lot of this, um, a, a decent sized portion of this purchase. So it made it cheaper for me. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this belt. Is it too um, understated? Um, do you wish the logo was a little bigger? Um, how do you feel about Gucci's Marmont belt? I know a lot of people hate on that belt. Um, but you know, I don't know. It's it's iconic and popular for a reason. So I do, do think you have to give it you know, Gucci props for that. Um, anyway, let me know what you think about this belt and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.